Welcome to 8.30. It's 1 Corinthians chapter 12 today. And we brought it to you from the market, but we needed to let you know <laughs> that... Uh, That's what's happening. <laughs> <laughs> so let's get straight into it. Read. Now concerning spiritual gifts, brethren, I would not have you ignorant. You know that ye were Gentiles, carried away unto these dumb idols, even as ye were led. Wherefore I give you to understand that no man speaking by the Spirit of God calleth Jesus accursed, and that no man can say that Jesus is the Lord, but by the Holy Ghost. Now there were... There are diversities of gifts, but the same Spirit. And there are differences of administrations, but the same Lord. And there are diversities of operations, but it is the same God which worketh all in all. But the manifestation of the Spirit is given to every man to profit with all. For to one is given by the Spirit the word of wisdom, to another the word of knowledge by the same Spirit. To another faith by the same Spirit, to another the gifts of healing by the same Spirit. To another, the working of miracles. To another, prophecy. To another, discerning of spirits. To another, diverse kinds of tongues. To another, the interpretation of tongues. But all these worketh that one and the selfsame spirit, dividing to every man severally as he will. For as the body is one and hath many members, and all the members of that one body, being many, are one body, so also is Christ. For by one Spirit are we all baptized into one body, whether we be Jews or Gentiles, whether we be bond or free, and have all been all made to drink into one Spirit. For the body is not one member, but many. If the foot shall say, because I am not the hand, I am not of the body, is it therefore not of the body? And if the ear shall say, because I am not the eye, I am not of the body, is it therefore not of the body? If the whole body were an eye, where were the hearing? If the whole were hearing, where were the smelling? But now hath God set the members, every one of them, in the body, as it hath pleased him. And if they were all one member, where were the body? But now are there many, are they many members, yet but one body? And the eye cannot say unto the hand, I have no need of thee, nor again the head to the feet, I have no need of you. Yea, nay. Nay, much more, those members of the body which seem to be more feeble are necessary. And those members of the body which we think to be less honourable, upon these we bestow more abundant honour, and our uncomely parts have more abundant comeliness. For our comely parts have no need, but God hath tempered the body together, having given more abundant honour to that part which lacked. That there should be no... Schism in the body, but that the members should have the same care one for another. And whether one member suffer, all the members suffer with it, or one member be honoured, all the members rejoice with it. Now ye are the body of Christ and members in particular. And God hath set some in the church, first apostles, secondarily prophets, thirdly teachers. After that miracles, then gifts of healings, helps, governments, diversities of tongues. Are all apostles, are all prophets, are all teachers, are all workers of miracles? Have all the gifts of healing? Do all speak with tongues? Do all interpret? But covet earnestly the best gifts, and yet shew I unto you a more excellent way. Wow, that was great. It was the whole body. <laughs> Talking about the whole body. The feet, the ear, the eye, the nose, the smelling Lots of smells at the market. <laughs> Lots of puppies at the market. Yeah. There'd be more if you had your way. Oh, wait. We, <laughs> next time. Oh, wait. <laughs> I, I'm just going to say, as a kid, this was one of the things that I just loved reading about, the whole body being knit together and um, and everything having its part to play. So I'd read this passage in the Bible going, wow, I wonder what I am. And I'm an, am I an armpit? <laughs> Am I a freckle? Like eyelash? And have you worked it out? No. I think you're a mouth. <gasps> <laughs> I think you are. That's quite possible. You do the talking, you do the chatting, you do the connecting. <laughs> anyway, we know that when we are part of the body of Christ, we are a member of the body. We do have a part to play. Mm -hmm. And there's many 
members. We're all one body and we're all the same now. Jew and Gentile the same. Mm -hmm. That's correct. No schisms about it. No schisms. Um, and we shouldn't wish to be something that we're not. Like... We have our part no. to play. We don't look at someone, another member of the body and go, oh, if only I was that. God made you very specific and sure, we all need to grow into that part yep. that God made us. Um, but we're not to like be upset about the part that he made us. We're not to be covetous or envious anyway. And there's so many good things about every part. Like I... I like listening more than speaking. It takes a lot for me to do a lot of talking. And we were talking about this yesterday, how sometimes mm -hmm. if we're together, mm -hmm. I don't have to do as much talking. And that, yeah. you know, that's... Does that take a weight off? It sometimes does take a weight off, but then sometimes it does... I might have something to say and you just probably say it better or more easily. No. <laughs> but we learn from each other in that way. I like it. Yeah, I do like it too. And mm. I learn to be more quiet because it's not just me, which is definitely a good thing. <laughs> um, so we're all by one spirit. There's lots of gifts that's talked about here. Mm. Spiritual gifts. Prophecy. Yes. Tongues. And healings and interpretation of tongues. Mm-hmm. Miracles, government, diversities of tongues, I said that helps. Um, and there's there's a lot of videos probably in in just trying to work out what that even means today. Yeah. But we, in very basic terms. In very basic terms, you explain that, Sam. <laughs> in very basic terms, we don't have need of prophecy today because all of that is finished. It's in here. Um, so, in a way, Paul's talking, talking about how the gifts were signs that were needed for the Jews because they required a sign. And also to magnify Paul's office as an apostle. Which we've talked about before, yeah. Without the signs and wonders, he couldn't have been qualified. Mm. Uh, he says he was the last apostle. Yep. No need of that anymore. Um, and... Miracles and healings were assigned to the Jews. Mm -hmm. They needed to be a set-apart people. There's a lot we could talk about with that. I know our husbands will do a video on that. Very soon. There is also some recommended channels below that you can check out where there's some great teachers talking about why these gifts aren't in operation right mm -hmm. now. We used to believe that they were, but when you look at it, it's not 100% strike rate, mm -hmm. so it can't be. Yep. Um, and there was a need for diversity of tongues because the word of God needed to be taken out. And so people needed to have that ability to just speak of the spirit and other nationalities would understand what was being spoken. Um, but now it's complete. The word, the word of God is, is complete. complete. That's we right. have it at our fingertips every day. Yes, we do. Are we using it? I do hope so. Oh, I could always use it more. Yes. Uh, and it finishes in verse 31 with Paul saying, But covered earnestly yes. the best gifts, and yet shew I unto you a more excellent way. Yeah. And I then, wrote that one down. Yeah. I love it. It's so good. And the next chapter, we will talk more about this. Yes. So it is tuned. the more excellent way coming. Yes. This is a building upon building. Can't just take one little chunk and think that's it. There's a lot to it. Looking forward to 1 Corinthians 13 tomorrow. How many verses in 1 Corinthians 13? Uh, there's 13. Yeah. Interesting. I learned that today. Yeah. We will <laughs> see you tomorrow. Have a beautiful day. Bye.